Hi guys, it's Miranda Card. Um, I'm a co-author of Relationships and Mental Illness at Healthy Place. Um, I've been talking about my experiences with sexual abuse and how they affect my relationships. Last time I talked about how when I was a kid, my cousin um, used to find a room somewhere in the house and essentially start truth or dare games where the dares would always be take off your clothes and touch me or I'll touch you. Um, and that went on for years. He was quite a bit older than me. I was between the ages of three and six. Um, and even though I don't blame him because he was a teenager himself, it's still um, been a weird way <laughs> to start my experiences with um, sexual activity. So ironically, the first kiss I ever had was at summer camp and I was playing truth or dare with just one person. He was a couple years older than me and I remember when he dared me to kiss him, I just froze. I mean, the chances of that happening after what happened to me when I was a kid are just like unbelievable. And it, like I said, it was just me and him alone outside um, and I was really freaked. Um, but I did it because I was, I don't know, 11 and he was 13 and I didn't want to say no. Um, and I think that was really the start to pretty much every relationship I had in my adolescence. Um, I really could not say no to people. I was incapable of asserting myself and my sexuality. I had no idea what I wanted. Um, I don't know if this behavior had roots in my early experiences with sexual trauma, but it seems kind of likely. Um, and it really morphed the way that I felt, what I felt my role to be um, as a girlfriend, in the bedroom, um, and it, it totally skewed my relationship to my sexuality. I really thought it was totally about pleasing my partner um, and not at all about what I might like. I didn't even know what I would like. Um, so next time I'm gonna talk about my sexual, ex my second experience with sexual trauma um, and, and how that affected my adult relationships. Okay, thanks for listening, bye.